Sam Lika, Vishaz Yanu from New Fitness. This year, we are going to be making videos in Ramadan to help you have a more healthy and prosperous Ramadan. And what we've done today is we've made a video in order to help you get ready for Ramadan. Um, and one of the things, there's a couple of things that we'd like to share with you um, before Ramadan starts. So the first thing is preparation. Preparation is key in order for you to have a more healthier Ramadan. So um, that's going to be one of the things that we're going to talk, be talking about. But before I um, talk about that, what I would like to sort of mention here is, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to take this back to obviously my own, my own personal experience. Being from the South Asian community, preparation normally in our, in my, in our community or in my family used to be um, making samosas and spring rolls, um, uh, and it was all it was all about getting you know these type of foods. You know, it, make sure you get all of these things in, um, which is you know there's nothing wrong with having a treat. Um, and that's one thing I will say. There's nothing wrong with us having a treat uh, once a week, um, and you know including them foods you know within our iftar, but. The whole point of Ramadan is to get more healthier, it's to um, cleanse ourselves and um, to detox our body um, and if you're going to be eating a lot of fried foods, um, we're not going to be doing that. Okay, so I appreciate, um, you know, it's sometimes it's difficult to make a change instantly, but what, what we, what we want to say is, we understand that obviously it, it's, not, it's, it's not easy to just go from this to this, but what we can do this year is inshallah maybe try to make a little bit of a change. So for example, um, if we are going to be um, making the samosas and spring rolls um, and you know we'll be cooking them, let's go for a little less oil and um, let's see if we can find a, a healthy alternative. Um, for example, um, you can um, boil the onions in the water first and you know maybe not um, um, you know, uh, cook them in the oil is long enough. That's just an example to give you. So anyone out there who's making the samosas and spring rolls ready for Ramadan, please sort of bear that in mind before you're making um, these, just, just to sort of make them a little bit more healthier. So that's obviously one aspect of it. Right, okay, now going back to the subject here today is um, the preparation. And um, one of the best ways to make sure that you're prepared is to make sure you've got your shopping in. Okay, so me and my um, colleague Sarah have gone out today and we've done a little bit of our shopping today and we thought we'd share this with you today. So, just to give you an idea of the things that we're going to be um, eating this year is, we've got, um, one of my favourites is spinach. Um, not only does this have, um, it, it's something that is so good for us, but it's also got high water, water content um, and it's something that is... Um, imperative especially with it being a long day in Ramadan and um, we've got broccoli and um, we've got um, I'm trying to go through the fruit I'm, I'm trying to be organized here so we've got banana we've got pro uh, pomegranates which is uh, something the Prophet peace be upon him highly recommended we've got avocado and um, which is full of goodness we've also gone for power foods which is um, things like quinoa black rice and um, you can also um you know there's loads of power foods that you can also superfoods shall i say that you can include and um, we've also um got coconut milk and almond milk which is a fantastic all um uh, you know thing for you to use when you're making smoothies and healthy breakfast porridge etc and we are going to be sharing a lot of these recipes with you this year so please go out and get these things because it's going to help us and it'll help you as well when we're going to be giving these recipes we've got um porridge here We've got um, um, a, a, a pasta here made out of purely out of courgettes, which is a healthier alternative. We've got chicken breast and um, we've got hummus, which is a fantastic dip full of protein. Um, and we've also got watermelon, high in water content. Um, we've also, obviously, you know, we're not able to put everything out here because we're still shopping as we're going along. There's loads of other things that you can buy, for example, pineapples, um, strawberries. And um, you can also get lean um, uh, meat. Um, lean mincemeat and you can you know for example make healthy kebabs and store them in the freezer and um, you can also obviously marinate the chicken um, and again store that in the freezer because obviously it would have been a long day you know you're going to get tired if you've been working or if you're a student it's not always easy to come home and make a full meal so the more stuff that you've got in your house uh, and the more thing, healthy things that you've got prepared in the freezer and um, already that's going to help you inshallah to have a more healthy Ramadan and um, so and um, if you want more information please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also find, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and inshallah we're looking forward to sharing our um, videos with you this year inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.